Hi guys, it's Jake Nuke here, and today I'm going to be doing my Team of the Season Dan Hanovich uh, review. Um, this is a team I got him It's a really bad team on purpose just to make him stand out. Um, and the two centre attacking mids centre forwards, uh, so they're on five chem, just so he he can be a standout player, um, so I can get to know him better. So here are the in-game stats. Um, I'm just going to go down on him, um, and they're absolutely outstanding, to be honest. Um, um, his ball controls pretty decent. He's kind of an all-round player. He's got 95 finishing, so that's just that's just insane. Um, his shot power feels like more around 90. So, and his long shots. Um, so take that into consideration. He's only got three star skills for so weak foot. Um, but he's high attacking work rate, um, low defensive, so that's the perfect work rate. 96 strength, which is insane, and you can definitely feel it. He's six foot two, so. Um, his attacking positioning, um, he's always up there, you know it's 72, um, he's always up there, so, um, let's get on to the gameplay. Um, firstly I'd just like to say, um, I recorded a third match where I won at 6-1 I believe, um, but I somehow lost the recording, um, I think I forgot to uh, click stop recording, um, and then um, that wasn't actually him score, but he set that one uh, up. Um, but yeah, I forgot. Um, forgot to. I s clicked stop recording, but um, I forgot to take the actual capture card out of the Xbox. Or something. I can't remember. But um, anyway, I lost that one. But yeah, these are still the two matches I played with him. Um, in the first match, he was only on 86, um, 86 fitness, I believe. But um, in the second one, he was on 99. So. Um, but he, um, firstly, let's start off with, um, well, he's six foot two, so for 80, 86 acceleration um, and 84 sprint speed, um, he feels like, like much more acceleration than that, but less sprint speed, personally, in my opinion. Um, but I think, yeah, for someone that hard, that tall, it's really, really, really good. And he's so strong. I mean, um, there'll, there'll be some clips, um, clips in a minute where he'll just get the. Um, just get the ball off someone if, if they're tackling them. Just, just get into them and just get the ball out off them. Um, his long shots, amazing. Uh, uh, his, uh, well, his, his finesse shots. He's got finesse shot taker as a trait, and beat be, uh, beat the defensive line. They both show in, in game. Um, his finesse shots. He got like 95 finesse shots, I think. See that long shot there. Um, his shot power is amazing. I didn't actually score. A, um, his free kicks are all right. They're not. Um, they're all right. They're they're decent. They're not really good. Nothing special. Um, there, as you can see here. Um, I'm not actually that good at taking free kicks. Um, but I didn't actually score a um, corner. But his heading is absolutely amazing. I always score one. I don't think it's in here though. It was in my last match. Um, but yeah, his heading is absolutely amazing, especially for someone his height. Um, I'm going out and get him. I personally pair him up with Vucinic and Jovetic, just so you can get Serie A team behind him because his league. Uh, K Lee doesn't really have any other good players. Um so now I'm gonna go on to the kind of like end of video kind of review on him. Um whether you should get him or not. So um he's got decent pace, uh these are uh, positives. Um he's got an ama absolutely amazing finesse shot, great shot power, he's really strong on the ball, um he's got great heading, he's really tall full star weak foot. Um his negatives are three star skills and um his dribbling's alright. Um so thanks for watching guys. Please write, comment and subscribe. Hopefully be doing more of these team of season um player reviews. So um yeah, I'll see you next time.